corpse have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now there he goes. after our souls. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? I'm just listening to him. I'm not interrupting. Do whatever it takes to stop him. Defeat him. Gut him. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Wow. All right. Does that make you feel better fucking now? Fucking hell. Are you? Do you feel better now? You still Johnny? don't see it, but you will one day. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a choice if I'm tr if you're turning into me. Or I'm turning it to you. I don't have much of a choice. Okay, Johnny. Hope that made you feel better. I just let him talk. Because I figured... Alright, let's call... We're going to continue on and call Judy, I think. Alright, let's call up Judy and tell her what's going on. B. You called. I said I would. Promise I would, wouldn't I? Promise I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock, goes by fingers. Oh shit. Nowhere to find him? Nowhere to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck me. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Mm. That's too bad. Heading there now. Heading there now to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Oh, all right, later, V. Thanks. Um, he's right over there. Okay. He's not that far at all. All right. I remember the last time I came here, it was a really sketchy alley and there were people being attacked, so that might that makes a lot of sense, I guess. Go to Fingers Clinic. Hey Hamilton, sorry Hamilton. Won't find a better massage and NC. I know, bud, but I'm busy. I've got to help save somebody. Time is of the essence. Come here, let me have a kitty kitty. What's the rush? Yeah? Here looks a little basic, but it works. Oh, these guys. You all want to clear out? Area hostile, eh? Well. That's fine. Um. Maybe if you detonate a grenade right in the center. And we just wait. Woo! That's right! You get him, boy! <laughs> Whoever that was, you are awesome. That's. Was somebody just watching from their window? That's hilarious. Didn't know what hit him. Yep. Sorry, guys. Oh, I love being a blood mage. Outer space, my life in orbit. You didn't hear that, Kevin, by the way. What's life in space like? Comfortable. Of course, not everything's a bed of roses. Gravity below 1G isn't great for your bones or muscles. Synthesized food isn't, a, isn't to die for, and stuff from Earth is as rare as it is expensive. If you live in a private orbital station, congrats, you're richer than me. You'll always see the same faces, but if you live in a hybrid station like Crystal Palace, you'll have to live with corporal, ch corporal rat bachelor parties every weekend. But don't let that put you off. There are more upsides than downsides to living in orbit. First of all, safety. To get into orbit, you need a lot of zeros in your bank account, which means you won't see legions of homeless people, skezzed out gangsters, or aggressive joy toys, the exception of that being the lunar colonies, but no self-respecting orbital dweller would ever set foot there. This is really interesting. Like, I'm really curious about, like, the like everything that's going on out in space during Cyberpunk 2077 lore, like the, all the moon colonies and the, you know, space stations. That's really neat. They could probably make a game just based on that. Like a combination of 
cyberpunk and Mass Effect, basically. I would, I'd be behind, be behind that. In other words, you can walk outside at, at night unarmed without security and come back home in one piece, wallet undisturbed. Amazing, right? Secondly, secondly, quality of service. Anyone in the customer service sector had to rack up an enormous debt to come up here. Their only hope to pay it off within their lifetimes is to rake in a lot, and I mean a lot of tips, which means they'll bend over backwards to satisfy every whim. If you're an employer, you don't have to worry about that. To worry that an employee you just hired and trained at your expense will suddenly quit and go work for the competition for a few extra eddies a week. Many stations, especially the private ones, simply don't have a comp don't simply don't have competition, and if they do, it's basically negligible. Agreements can be made so situations like that doesn't that don't occur. Thirdly, and most importantly, no government can tell you what to do, where, and how. Orbital stations are autonomous and governed by their own laws, and there aren't that many of them. If you can afford your own station, you're the undisputed lord and master of your little corner of space. You want to tie the help up to a whipping post when they make a mistake? Go right ahead. Really? Want five wives or four husbands? I'm sure you'll have a line of willing volunteers. Interesting. Well... That wasn't the first thing that came to my mind if when I was thinking about going into outer space, but... Who is Dr. Paradox? Is that a comic book? Who is Doc Paradox? Who's hiding behind the distorted mask? Unsurprisingly, Doc Paradox won't say. After all, he's breaking the law. He has to protect his identity. If he revealed even the tiniest sliver about himself, Netwatch agents would be at his door in less than a minute. But think about it. Think. What kind of person would successfully hide from the world's most powerful corporations for years? Who would hack into encrypted TV channels? Who could disclose highly uh, classified corporate secrets? The answer is obvious. Doc Paradox is one of them. He's a puppet controlled by the establishment. To what end? Maybe this is how corporations funnel our anger and frustration in a safe and controlled manner. Through a rebel who will never go f so far as to issue a calls to arms. Maybe he's being used to reveal facts that hurt the competition. Or maybe he's just a branding opportunity. In a month or two, Avant Avante could put out a new Doc Paradox line in for us to wear our disapproval. Only time will tell, but for, but for Pete's sake, don't listen to a word out of this phony's mouth. All right, fingers. You... So we've got another shady Ripper Doc. First it was Charles, now it's Fingers, who I thought had a really good style. Uh, you've got some explaining to do, mister. Hey, hands off! Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every locked in town depends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you Fuck pussy. Fuck off and leave me be! Fine, I get it! Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. So you need me to take that guy Hope out? that teaches those candy-ass scop suckers not to come around here no more. <laughs> Hello! Is that Jenny? There's a line! No, -uh. It's Jenny. Hey. Sit your ass down Fingers and wait guy. your turn. You know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like? His hand sometimes slips. Oh. Interesting. Who paid for all that? Interesting. Let's see familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Oh, yeah. Um, hopefully the fact that I was gallivanting with Pan Am and uh, River this whole time uh, didn't hurt Evelyn. Hopefully... After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to Clouds? Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Mm -hmm. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Okay. Ross Austin. Occupation Joy Toy. Health Condition 6. Cyber status faulty and damaged. Mitzi Sparks. Joy Toy 6. Cyber status faulty or damaged. Rosie Harper. Joy Toy 6. Faulty damage. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? Moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Mm -hmm. Once you get close to Evelyn, 
You never want to let her go. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That makes sense. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. I like Tom. Tom, I, I thought Tom was a decent enough guy. I think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere. On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to mm. her. Yeah, we'll have to take care of him. Hey, ladies. Fingers helps working folk. Seen a girl with blue hair here. Where's fingers? Fingers help working folk. I don't know if I want to say start with that. You see a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh, think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. Hmm. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him. Wait. Final wait. Pay for a sales ripper doc. My friend here is in really bad shape. Ooh, I'm cool. Cooling it up. My friend here, she's in real sorry shape. You couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Uh, uh, <laughs> of course. Honey, pick my guest. Oh, thank you. Well, now, hold on. Hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try to open those Come on, let's go. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew I could cool my way through. Hmm. How about now? Wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. What? Faceplate's previous owner had a hmm. longer face than you. Don't worry. Your eyes are dust. We going in? Eventually. All right, fingers. I thought you were okay before. Now. Yes. Hello. Now I know that you're a little what can slimy. I do for you? Where's Evelyn Park? I'm just gonna go straight to the ch cut to the chase. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she was here in your clinic. Ah, oh, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, I recall, you visited me before. Yeah, I did. Oh, I'm glad he remembered. Whereas you, I can't quite place. Let me guess. Tiger Claws? I like that he recognized me. I'm with the Mox. Ah, the Mox. Enchanté. So, what brings you here? You install faulty implants. These girls know you're chipping faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> right. You're a sick fuck. Know that? You're looking for a friend? <laughs> Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. That's true. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction. I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. Oh, I love this. I love it, Judy. Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. When she as soon as I mentioned her name, don't try getting out down. of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. Okay. Check your logs. The name Forrest set off any buzzers? Forrest. 
name mean anything to you? No. Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm asking the questions. I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney, more like. Oh, he does. He does out. remember. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. Never mentioned her name, so I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. What was wrong with her? You mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. So let's get to the point. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. It's impossible to have a conversation when you're not, you know, really answering my questions straight. Um, don't talk to her that way. Can't speak don't talk way. to her like that. She insulted me. You want Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. Underground BDs? What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. You know that for sure? You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. This guy's a great. They, this guy is a great character. He makes me very uncomfortable at times, but he's he's interesting. Where we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Which is? Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who's your fixer? Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wekako. Oh, of course it's Wekako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand oh, of off. Of course. Where did they take her? Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. Wow, tell her like it is, Judy. I actually don't mind her t telling him that to his face, because he kind of needed to hear that. These guys, what do they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now? They look like you? Mm. They look like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. Okay. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. 
I'm glad you did what I didn't do. I didn't have the guts to do it. Need air. I'll be outside. She's just upset. Judy's right. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'm not going to do any business here anymore. The world and will is an idea. Cottonmouth? Um, Cottonmouth? That sounds like a unique, iconic, rare iconic. Blunt weapon. Electrically charged and tipped with venom. It deals... Uh, electrical and chemical damage. Small chance to apply poison and or shock. Interesting. Okay. That one's actually better than the Tinkerbell. Interesting. Actually, let me get my weapons back. Katana. Um, crash. And Widowmaker. I'll be more than glad to show you around, but um, uh, later, perhaps. I thought you told me you didn't want me to come back. Make up your mind, fingers. No wonder they call them fingers. Sheesh. I'm bald. I'm bald. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with being bald, I just... It's just, if it's a glitch, I have a problem if it's a glitch. Alright. Well. Away we go then. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Trust me, Judy. Compared to the pieces of shit I scrape off my shoe every day, Fingers doesn't come close to being half their brand of rot. I would say so, too. Got no fucking words, V. None. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. You want to give up now? No. Only Lee, we got an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's Head symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfitted <gasps> on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Do you have a better idea? Everyone, everything leaves a trace behind. Everyone, everything leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Mm -hmm. That's well, true. Your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City. Okay. A domain with its twin on the dark net. I've read that, actually. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Mm -hmm. Let me think for a sec. I know a local fixer. Let's give the Darknet side. Leah, I'm going with what Judy suggested. Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Ask around. About XBDs on Jig Jig Street. All right. All right. And I also got something from Takamura as well. Um.
Wow, there's lots of people I can be talking to. Locate a terminal. I'll do the optional thing first. Hey, yo, man, you trying to rip us off? I got four bags missing here. That's the cut I got off Pablo. Don't like it? Okay. Get up with him. I ain't dealing with Pablo. I'm dealing with you. That means you and me got a problem. Now, I could paint the sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't get me what I'm up Whoopsie. Whoopsies. Okay. Ask around for... Let's see. Dealer. Okay, let's see. Show me. All right. I kind of want to okay, sell stuff. See. I don't want to buy me. any drugs. I want to sell stuff. I'll sell this and this and that and that and that and that and that and that. Okay. Thank you. Tell me about your fantasy, honey. Shit, her implants are older than I am. Can't believe she finds the spares to keep them running. That's mean, guys. Don't push me. Could always be worse. Sayonara Station by Luke Steelman? Wait a second, before we start, have you wondered how this book ended up in your hands? Where it came from? Who delivered it? Of course you haven't. Nobody ever wonders about things like that. It's a shame, because the answer is quite interesting. I'd go as far as to say it's effing fans assassinating. Not so long ago, most shipments were made via sea on freighters. Cheap, quick, and relatively safe. But during the Fourth Corporate War, some genius in Arasaka had an idea to release automated self-replicating mines controlled by an AI into the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? A lot, it turns out. The AI had a single objective, destroy enemy vessels. Simple, right? And USA Militic ship ships would get blown out of the water, while the Arasaka Free State ships would sail by untouched. Except for the AI's ironclad logic, since there was a non-zero probability that a vessel waving a friendly flag might also have enemies on board, in the interest of optimization, it would also be sunk. Of course, when the le lead heads back at Arasaka HQ realized what they'd done, they rushed to update the software, only for the AI to reject it as a virus. And thus, because of a handful of individuals, complete lack of imagination, and foresight, the history of maritime travel came to an end. So let's come back to the question. How did you end up with this book? Unless you live in Chicago, where it was published, then surely not via the net, since that was destroyed by Bart Moss. Maybe it was shipped by plane. But air freight is incredibly expensive, so most likely not. By car, then? We can't rule it out. But if I had to bet on it, I'd say it came to you, uh, to your city via train. Imagine that trains, that's right, the ones that go choo-choo, have survived into the present day. Last year, 15,526 miles of new train tracks were put into use, including the underground tunnel connecting Tokyo with Shanghai. At top speed, an armored train can complete the distance between the two cities in under five hours. Now that's something I had to experience for myself. Two days later, I was in Tokyo, standing on the platform of Sayonara Station. Hmm, that's cool. Stop complaining, get rich today. The first and most important lesson you and only you are responsible for in your, situ in your situation in life, uh, are responsible for your situation in life. Don't wait for the government to take pity on you. Don't wait for your loved ones to lend a, hand, uh, lend a helping hand. Just pull yourself up by your bootstraps and get to work. I know what you're going to say. Unemployment is at 30, 34%, but so what? What's stopping you from starting your own business? It's that simple. What's that? You say you need an, need an education? So educate yourself. From now on, I don't want to hear any excuses. What matters is that you can be rich too, but you have to want it, and for that, you have to work for it. You do not want to know. No harm, no foul. Where to? Wow, nice style, dude. <laughs> 